Okay, hello everyone. Thank you for having me. Uh, my name is Jonathan Gregmenter. I'm an assistant professor of global development studies at the Papua School. Oh, sorry, we, we need the microphone. Sorry, I thought we were just um, talking free, freehand. So I'm going to be talking to you today about some research that I'm doing on what I call bridge systems in Africa, how they form and how we can help them work better. So as context for this research, as I'm sure you all know, there's hundreds of millions of people excluded from formal financial services, clean energy, clean drinking water. Uh, the number alone of people excluded from formal financial services, 1.3 billion, overwhelmingly based in Africa. So if people want to store money, transfer money, they have to use cash. You can imagine, it makes it very difficult to emerge from poverty. And so the United Nations has been calling for a new social contract and is looking for new thinking about how to help firms and governments provide these services to rural communities in Africa, particularly women. And I've been thinking about this for a long time. And what I've been thinking about is that we, we know a lot about the barriers to providing these services. We know about corruption, weak infrastructure, gender barriers. What I'm really interested in is the handful of firms and governments that have managed to leapfrog these barriers and actually provide services to rural areas of Africa. And I'm interested in understanding how they form and then how we can help them expand, to expand into additional rural communities, to expand and include women in much greater numbers. So you would have all heard about the M-Pesa mobile money system in Kenya. You can store, deposit, transfer and withdraw money uh, through your mobile phone without using a bank account. So I'm writing a book on this. It was only due three and a half years ago, but I'm, I sort of run out of COVID as an excuse. So hopefully it's going to be done in six months' time. And what I look at is, this, is the, the way in which people can deposit and withdraw money from their M-Pesa account. So Vonafone didn't want to build branches in rural areas for these reasons. So instead they built what I think is the most extensive bridge system we have, which is a network of corner stores, petrol stations and other retail outlets operating as agents on behalf of Vodafone. So instead of this woman having to walk all the way into Nairobi to deposit or withdraw money, she does it with this agent. So my training is economics, law and contract theory. So I look at this and try to understand how are the contracts formed, and I call them bridge contracts, that enable these agents to work and to leapfrog these barriers. And my research shows that they're structured in a way and the wording of the contracts is structured in a way to help these agents slot into pre-existing social, economic and gender networks in these communities. So full and frank disclosure, I'm looking for collaborators to complement my research and my way of looking at this, which is the contracts, with researchers who focus on um, gender norms, um, social networks, because I think it's that combination that will produce much richer pictures of how these bridge systems form. So there's 180,000 uh, M-Pesa agents in Kenya, like I mentioned, and so I look at, and I'm building these projects with firms in other parts of Africa. So one of them is a solar pack, which is a micro solar energy unit that goes on the back of kids' backpacks. And when they walk to and from school, the, sun, um, the, sun, the, uh, the sun's rays are caught in these backpacks. And then when they get home, the kids can use them um, to, by plugging these backpacks into lights, enabling them to do their homework. Uh, I'm also running projects with Vodafone in three countries and Hello Tractor, which is kind of like an Uber for tractor sharing service in Kenya. So if a farmer needs to rent a tractor, she can't afford to buy a tractor, she rents a tractor from a tractor owner for short-term use. So in each case, the projects that I'm running look at the contracts between the firm and the agents in different parts of the country to try to understand how the firm tailors what it does to try to operate in rural areas. So uh, I have also some collaborators from the University of Nairobi because I'll be working with local scholars. I think that's very important. But for those of you interested in this topic, particularly from a different background to mine, I'd, I'd love to chat with you. Thank you very much.